So what do we have, Spirit, for Leo? Clear intuitive messages, please, for Leo. So we got the Three of Pentacles, but it's reversed. We got the King of Cups. And then we have the Ten of Cups. So there is somebody that has walked away, Leo, due to them not making change. Um, whoever this is, I feel like they have became, um, I'll say numb to this person, Leo. If this is you, this is saying that you may have walked away from somebody and you, because you became very numb to this person due to this, not this person, not making change, you know, but it is saying that. Y'all have been guided to focus more on your own fulfillment, whether this is you and your children, if you are a single parent, or it could just you and your own happiness, you know, but I just feel like y'all walked away due to somebody not being able to change or not making a change, making an effort to change, Leo, and to, um, to focus more on your own fulfillment. Okay, let's keep it moving. We're going to use these cards. Clarify the Three of Pentacles, Reverse, the King of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. So at this point, a lot of my Leos are focusing on what makes them happy. We got Not Today. We got Addiction. And then we have Butterfly. At this point, y'all could be avoiding this person's phone calls. Or text messages because y'all set strong boundaries with this person Leo so basically you walked away from somebody or maybe they walked away from you some of y'all's person tried to teach you a lesson with this three of pentacles reverse but maybe it backfired you know maybe you had gained to be very comfortable Leo with holding back from this person and now it pushed this person towards you because you didn't make a move you see what I'm saying so now you didn't make a move once again this person reach out to you. You could be avoiding this person's phone calls, their text messages, you know, but it is saying that at this point, a lot of y'all could be, you know, listening to your intuition and just focusing more on what makes you happy. And even if you do got feelings for this person still, because some of y'all do still have, have feelings, but you could be holding them back. You know, you're not expressing them. Um, this person still could be holding on to you, Leo, literally holding on to you because we got addiction. Some of you guys don't want nothing to do with this person because they have um, addictions. Maybe they do have personal addictions, Leo, and you just don't want nothing to do with them. You don't want nothing to do with that that comes with them, Leo, you know, because once again, this person has still not made a change. So I'm also getting that some of y'all's person has not only um addictions but they also have addiction to you leo i am getting that energy also but it's saying that you have moved on to the next phase of your life leo a lot of y'all probably outgrown this person because we got the butterfly relationship evolving it says to the next phase or it can mean healing the inner child and also growth so basically y'all have also like i said y'all have outgrown this person you know, you have, I'm here, I'm here, you have grown accustomed to being by yourself and focusing on that really matters, which is your family, whether this is your children or whether this is your, your, your family, like less close family, like your mom, your dad, your sisters, your cousins, you know, whatever the case may be, that's what you focusing on. You focusing on yourself and your own happiness. That's who you loving up on. But like I said, at this point, you ignore somebody right now that's still holding on to you, um, Leo. Some of y'all, this person, um, it, some of y'all feel this person energetically also, not just physically. It could be energetically also, but let's dive deeper in this situation. I'm hearing not today, Satan. <laughs> Maybe this is somebody that is toxic, Leo, that you don't want to get, you know, have nothing to do with. 
Yeah, you don't want to talk to them. We got the Knight of Swords reversed. You just avoiding any arguments with this person, any fights, we know, with this person, Leo. A lot of avoiding, Leo. Y'all avoiding this person heavily. Like, y'all literally is avoiding this person. We got the world reversed. Yeah, this person don't want it to be over. Even though you're pushing this person away far as communicating with them, like you don't want to speak to them, your person... Like, they, they life is crumbling, whoever this person is. I got a strong feeling, Leo, this is somebody that got addictions. Whether it's a drug addiction, a sex addiction, a gambling addiction, an alcohol addiction, they can have a porn addiction, you know, addicted to sex. I don't know what addiction, but this person comes with a lot. They don't want to change because we got the three of pentacles reversed. You know, they have addictions, Leo, and... At the same time, their life is falling apart because we got the world card reversed. So the more you don't speak to this person with the Knight of Swords reversed, the more your life come crum crumbling down, Leo. That's exactly what I'm hearing right now. We got the hanged man. Yeah, you leaving this person hanging. Y'all feel like y'all had to make a sacrifice, Leo. Y'all have definitely had to make this sacrifice and leave them where they at because they did not want to change. The hanged man also can mean this person stays the same, like they don't want to change. And we already see that because... We got the Three of Pentacles reversed. In this one, it says um, enterprise, success, talent, or teaching. Yeah, this person didn't want to change. You try, This person tried to teach you a lesson, but it backfired, Leo. The more you don't give this person your energy, the more their life come crumbling down, Leo. That's exactly what I'm seeing in this spread. But, yeah, I just felt like you had to. You had to let this person go due to them not wanting to make any changes within their life, Leo. Yeah, you don't want to be around this person. We got the lovers reversed. You do not want to be around this person. You want to talk to this person, especially you don't want to talk to this person. You don't want to have any parts that has anything to do with this person, Leo, because you're looking for accountability. And, and besides that, you want somebody that's going to take care of you. You want somebody that's going to cater you to you, Leo. Some of you guys, this person could just be trying to use you for support. Because at this point, they don't have control over their life. They don't have control over themselves. I'm hearing this person just has a lot of bad habits. This person don't have control over themselves or their life. Some of y'all could have been dealing with an Aries or a Gemini or a water sign. I'm seeing a lot of water. But it is saying that this is somebody that has no control over themselves or their life, Leo. Because they allow their addictions to get away of, I'm hearing, a healthy relationship with you. Or just... They allow them to, their dishes to get away with, you know, take over everything in their life. You see what I'm saying? So, at this point, a lot of y'all are setting strong boundaries with this person. But let's keep it moving. We're going to pull some more cards. Clear intuitive messages, please. We got sunglasses. So this person is watching you. This person is definitely watching you. Because like I said, you don't want to speak to this person. You don't want to say nothing to this person at all. You don't want this person to say anything to you, Leo. Yeah, they sitting there watching you be happy. They're watching you glow. They're watching you thrive, Leo. You know, some of y'all could be out here in the sun. Maybe you going taking trips to the beach I don't know maybe you live by a beach or maybe you live by a body of water but it is saying that they are watching you be happy without them Leo some of you guys are in another connection with somebody else and that could be the reason why we have the ten of cups if it wasn't your family like your kids or your immediate family like your mom your dad your sister your cousin or whatever it could just be you and another connection with somebody else that you have already created a life with, Leo. And then you have this crazy ex that has addictions that don't want to let go of you. That still could be popping up, watching you, stalking you or whatever. That's exactly what I'm seeing for some of y'all. Some of y'all are in a relationship with somebody and you are happy. And you have a crazy ex that is stalking you and watching you be happy with this other person, this new person. That's exactly what I'm hearing for some of y'all. The rest of y'all is just you single, you know, and... Finding your own happiness, whether you with kids, you have kids or not, right? But like I said, pick a side, what role you play in in the situation. It's like they ain't got no choice but to see you be happy because they don't, they don't want to make change. I just keep hearing this person lacks discipline. We got talking, and then I'm gonna take this card also. It came out with it. We got boat right here.
that's crazy. So this person could even be calling and texting you while you're happy, whether this is just you and your kids or just you enjoying the sun or your singlehood or enjoying your new boo. Yo, some of y'all's person is calling or texting your phone while you involved with somebody else. Because you moved on. This person has a hard time closing this cycle out with you. This person has a hard time letting go of you, like, you leaving a life, period. This is somebody that don't want you to go, Leo. They they have a hard time of, you know, of getting, well, basically, you have a hard time getting rid of them. That's, that's exactly what I'm hearing. You have a hard time getting rid of them. So no matter who you involve with Leo, this person is still going to stalk you. They're still going to hold on to you. They're still going to call you. They're still going to text you no matter what, Leo, because they see you're happy. you happy without them. But it's over because we got the runner. You're running from this person, Leo. You're running from this person. Meanwhile, you over here enjoy somebody else's company. Okay, let's keep it moving. Yeah, y'all got a, a y'all got somebody who's addicted to you, Leo. Y'all got a stalker on y'all on the loose. <laughs> y'all got a stalker on the loose, literally. They are straight addicted to you. Their life is literally falling apart because you don't want to be with them. You're not even giving this person an inch of your energy because I surely feel like you don't even want to conversate with this person. This person has closure issues. They're going through a transformation. But it's saying that you have already moved on, Leo. Or Crosswatcher. You have already moved on. They're watching you be happy. And it's like, y'all, I'm here and leaving for dead. This person feels like you left them for dead. <laughs> like, literally, that's because I'm here in dead silence. So that's exactly what you're giving them. You're giving them silence you're giving them the silent treatment because you don't want to talk to them you don't want to be involved with them you don't want to be intimate with them you are giving this person dead silence leo because you have moved on and you are happy whether this is just you enjoying your singlehood or whether this is you enjoying your new boo or whether this is you just you know taking care of you and your children being happy with your children leo or both but I'm hearing dead silence. You've been let this person go a long time ago, Leo. And all they can do is sit there and watch you thrive. All they can do is sit there and watch you shine, Leo. I just keep hearing this person is giving you dead, you giving them dead silence. And the more you give it to them, it's like the more respect that they gain for you, Leo. Even though they keep harassing you, stalking you, and calling your phone while you with somebody else. Because that's exactly what I'm hearing. Yeah. You made a lot of change. We got the Eight of Cups. This Eight of Cups means change, shift, and energy. Getting rid of this person, it really motivated you to change, Leo. Because I strongly feel like y'all y'all know what y'all deserve. I'm hearing since they didn't want to change you made the you made the change for them. You made the change for them, Leo. Because you know what you deserve. Some of you guys definitely with y'all soulmate. We got the King of Wands and we got the Queen of Wands. So some of y'all with somebody else that actually does love you, you know, that actually does respect you, Leo. That's exactly what I'm seeing. Whoever this is, maybe y'all could have, you know, you could be a power couple with this person, you know, or some of you guys, maybe you work with this person. The rest of you guys, I'm seeing that y'all look good together. Whoever this new person is that you are currently dating or you are official with, Leo, y'all look real good together. I'm hearing. This person is very good looking and some of y'all, this person has a really good career. Wow. Okay, let's keep it moving. Let me see. Let's keep it moving. We're going to pull some more cards because at this point, I just feel like you're giving this person dead silence because you have somebody new. You know what? Yeah, because you have somebody new. That's exactly why. Let me pull one of these with some Oracle cards. This 
this now this person ain't got no choice but to get themselves together, Leo, and make change. Because you're gonna keep giving them the dead silence. You're gonna, you're gonna keep giving them the silent treatment. They ain't got no choice. Because they see you stepped your game up. Whether you stepped your game up and replacing them with somebody that looks better and that has more, or you stepped your game up in your work or your career, period. It could be everything. But we're going to see, because like I said, your person didn't want to change. This is probably going to force them to change now because you got rid of them. This ending, making them, it's forcing them to change. I, I'm telling you, you giving them the silent treatment is forcing them to change, Leo. Didn't I say you're dealing with somebody who are exchanging gifts? Y'all are dealing with somebody that actually does appreciate you, that actually shows love to you, Leo. Some of y'all's person is giving you gifts. Maybe you... Maybe it could be mutual. Maybe y'all both giving each other gifts, taking each other out and having fun with this person. But y'all found somebody that, whether you're dating, like I said, whether it's official or not, you have somebody that actually does give you that equal give and take, Leo. Whatever it is that you ever wanted. You know, I feel like you got it now. Somebody could be 27. Somebody could have a two-year-old or a seven-year-old or a three-year-old or a six-year-old. Somebody could be 33. We got chaos and conflict. So y'all be careful because your person may come in and try to fight your person. Some of y'all, y'all be careful. They may, they may try to come in and fight your person because you found somebody that on your level. You found somebody on your level. You found somebody that actually gives you what you want. And they may try to start some drama. So y'all be careful with this person. That person that's obsessed with you. They don't like that. They don't like that you found your equal. They don't like the simple fact that you found somebody that actually do care about you. And that actually does appreciate you. Like I said, they may try to, to start some drama. So y'all be careful. I just keep hearing that in the back of my mind. Be careful. We got yin. Yeah, yeah, you. Re this is your turn to receive, Leo. This is your turn to sit back and receive these, you know, I'm hearing these blessings, Leo. Some of y'all could be dealing with somebody and maybe it is a struggle for you to take from them because maybe you are somebody that is used to someone not really giving to you, Leo. I am getting that energy for some of y'all. Because you've never been treated like a queen, or you've never been treated like a king before. But when I got, but when I got that king in the, that queen of wands, also, like I said, I feel like this is somebody that actually give you that same energy that you give. You see what I'm saying? They treat, they treat you like the king. They treat you like the queen, Leo, that you are, Leo. And some of y'all, I just saying that y'all may struggle to take from this person to receive. Y'all struggle with to receive because y'all so used to giving. Giving, 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 but this is your equal, Leo, with this exchange of gifts. This is your equal right here. This is your other half, Leo. But like I said, some of y'all could be struggling to receive from this person, Leo. But it's it's saying that this is your turn to sit back and be treated like the queen or the king that you are. Wow. Some of y'all manifested this. We got imagine. Some of you guys have literally manifested this. Some of y'all, man, maybe you manifested this in your sleep. This is something that you always wanted. This is something that you always dreamed of. And you finally get it. So Spirit is saying, don't let this other person interfere in what y'all got going on. Because this is your other half. This is your equal. This is your other half. When I look at exchanging gifts and yin, this is your other half. And then we have those two queens. It really is. It's something that you always wanted. That's exactly what I'm seeing. Okay. I just keep hearing, don't let that person mess up what you got going on, Leo, because this is the person that you're supposed to be with. It's time for you to get rid of them. We got abundance is near. So y'all got, yeah, listen, y'all got a lot of abundance, a lot of blessings around you, Leo. This person is going to spoil you rotten, I'm hearing. This person is going to spoil you. That's why we have that yin energy. It's all about re receptive energy. This person is going to, they're going to spoil you. You ain't even going to know what to do, Leo. They're going to spoil you so much, you're not even going to know how to take it. Because you're not used to that type of energy. 
You used to be the one that used to give all the time. Now it's your time. It's your turn to receive. Spirit is saying, Leo, it's your turn to receive. Keep the faith. Yeah, you prayed for this. You prayed for this. You never gave up. You prayed for this, Leo. You under a lot of spiritual protection right now. This relationship you have with this new person, or you're getting ready to have with this new person, if you have not, you know, have met this person yet. I'm telling you, it's, it's going to be very much protected, y'all, literally. But it's saying that y'all going to leave the other person out in the cold where they at. So the more you don't give that ex your energy, they will eventually start to disappear. That's exactly what I'm hearing. But I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. I hope it resonates. Y'all take care.